All right, y'all, now we're over at the switch location and we're gonna rough in the switch location in the middle of the two garage posts here. Um, so for this, some people, I'm just gonna use this normal four square J box um, <clears throat> with the side mount here. And typically I like my switches at 48 inches to the top of the box. So that's what we're gonna mark ours at. Um, usually an existing install i like to match all the existing heights of the switches but every single outlet box is at a different height and my concrete's on level so we're just gonna do what looks good to me so measure this out oh two 48 inches here All right, y'all. Now Got to do the one last step here, is get power all the way over here, straight to this J-Box. So, um, when I was recording here, I didn't realize, but lost some footage to installing this part. But essentially, here's the home run from this light through the rafters, down the wall, and down to our switch location so right now I just got a um, just got the switch leg coming out so this is the physical wire that goes to the light switches and so now we need power to get to this box so how we're gonna do that is for the time being we're gonna take this existing receptacle box Move it as close as we can because I got some spare wire and uh, get power down here. Um, ultimately, I'm going to rip out all this old Romex and rewire the whole shop, but that's for another video. Um, but for the time being, uh, since wire is very expensive right now, we're just going to move this receptacle over for power. All right, well, let's get it going. So first things first, we got to find out what circuit that receptacle is on so we can shut the power off at the panel. So how we're going to do that is one of these cheap receptacle um, testers, and you can pick them up at Home Depot or Lowe's. I'll put a link in the description of uh, this one that I got. I think this was like five bucks, but... Let's uh, go plug this in and then go look at our panel to see where um, which circuit it is. So let's climb the ladder here and get her going. Okay, so got our receptacle tester in. These two lights on the bottom means it's hot and correct. So let's go over to our panel now and uh, figure out which circuit this is powering. Okay, now we're over at our panel, figured out which breaker it is, that guy, and now we uh, have power disconnected so we can move it. Now we're back up here, and as you can see, power's off, receptacle tester's in, and no power. So now we can move this uh, J-Box over to its new location.
right, let's do a little recap here. Got the new uh, splice done. So got a J box up there. And that is our home run power, our unswitched power, going across the top there. And then met it on this side, came down, and voila. So coming in on this right side, this is our unswitched power. And then coming out to the left side, that's our switched power, <clears throat> or switch leg, going out to our lights. So now all we need to do is hook this bad boy up to the switch and turn it on, see what happens. All right, y'all, we're getting down to the last electrical connection here. So this is our um, wall switch location. And we just ran this uh, incoming power from our electrical panel. Um, and then our left side coming in here, that's our uh, switch leg going out to the light switch. And so what we need to do now is wire <coughs> um, our wall switch in uh, to our uh, um, to our wall box here and then rest is history so let's get at it wall switch um, got the Romex all nice and tight got the wall switch all in now we just need to turn it on and see what happens and hopefully we'll have some light all right y'all let's uh, do a little before and after here so this is before and this is just with the one eight foot um, fluorescent strip light and then that four foot shop light over there and this is the ambient brightness in the garage right now so let's see what happens uh after we're done here all right y'all moment of truth three two one Look how bright that is. Oh, baby. There we go. Project complete. Okay, let's test out our zero to 10 volt dimming. There we go, it works. All right, hey -o. show this thing in action. You know, it dims and brightens. There we go. All right, and last but not least here is uh, sweeping up all the chunks and garbage and fun stuff that happens when you do electrical work so yeah let's uh get sweeping and call this project a wrap
Well guys, that's going to do it for this video series. Thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate your support. See you in the next one.